Bhagwan my G's. That was the cringiest intro I've ever done. Welcome to my vlog in where I'm in a hotel. Let We're me... in a hotel. I have to show you the mirror. That's what they all do. But this is my hotel room. It's a complete mess at the moment because I'm I'm still like <laughs> I'm not used to the time zone, but I've got, I've got to show you something. Yeah, that's my background. That's like the inside. That's inside. That's the inside of my hotel for the next few days. Maybe here on Instagram, there's actually like alligators. For the, there's, there's six pools. This is Gaylord Palms. I know, I laughed at it too. But seriously, it's an awesome place. If you want to know why I'm here, the reason is play this live on behalf of EA. So again, thanks EA. But seriously, I've never been to Florida. This is the first time I've been to Florida. I want to do some stuff. I need to find breakfast. I've got like half an hour to get breakfast before the breakfast place shuts. There's six restaurants and I don't know which one does breakfast. Six inside the hotel. And a cafe. And an ice cream thing. And shops. Let's go find breakfast. <laughs> So I've actually found my new favourite mount for this. Um, this camera is a little small, it's a little bit difficult to hold at times and I had like a gorilla pod mount, it's like the three legs that you can tie around things, but it was like the small one and the small one breaks so easily, it broke after like a week, so I didn't buy another one, I didn't want to buy another one. But what I have found is something that's better. This is actually still a gorilla pod I'm actually using now, but if you look in the mirror there, so good grip, it's actually for the GoPro. This is supposed to be like a GoPro mount thing, but I just I just took the thing off and it fit my camera, so cool. And uh, we're outside, outside Gaylord Palms. I'm just looking around. I think this is some kind of car park. Um, this is, yeah, it's the valet car park. I saw a nice, nice Cadillac, so I wanted to go and have a look, because we don't get them. We don't get Cadillacs. A lot of people don't understand that. And I'm black and I, I, need, to, I need some Cadillac-ness. It's not even a Cadillac, it's a GMC. I'm gonna head back now. Did spot this though. So many lifted cars in America. Such a crazy place. It's not as hot as I thought it would be today. It's like UK hot. Just a little bit more. Not that I could live with this forever because heat and me just don't get along, but there's no wind as well, which is kind of nice. <laughs> possibly what is the most exciting rental car ever. It's the only thing they had left. I did ask for like a four-door car or something. I mean, it, it kind of has four door. Technically it has five. All right, I'll show you. So as you can see, I've possibly got the most exciting rental you've ever seen in your life. It's a mini, I'm driving a minivan. I feel like a dad. Anyway, the reason I've got this, I've just got it for the day. It's the only car they had left. The hotel didn't have any, so I had to come to Enterprise. It was pretty rich around the corner. And they, 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 that's, this is all they had. The guy literally dropped it off as I got there. So I was lucky, otherwise I would have had absolutely nothing. I mean, lucky, I can't really put lucky in this in the same video, can I? It's all right, it's all right. He gave me a thing, he said, all right, what I'll do for you is I'll say it's empty and you just return it back. As is. Normally with rentals, obviously you fill them up and then you return them. He just said, don't even bother. I know I know you wouldn't really want to choose this, but it's a car, I guess. Anyway, the reason I think I'm getting a car, uh, j just for today, I thought I'd go and see Meadow's mum and her grandma. I'm gonna go see them for a little bit. Cause I'm in Florida, I've got a three day. So why not, right? I guess it makes sense, but uh, let's, let's drive the rental. Probably gonna need a charger as well. It's really, so I had to use voice control <laughs> I have to use voice control to turn on Bluetooth. Hey look, can your Lambo do this? That's the wrong door. Can your Lambo do this? No, it can't. To be fair, it actually, actually looks quite nice in here and comfortable. Though again, uh, I wouldn't buy one myself. This one's just like checking out what's going on. Checking out my whip! That's right! Right, let's set up, we're in park. 
the gear six like here. We're not we're not going to vlog the whole thing. Uh, I just wanted to do a little bit and tell you my first feels of it because it's a freaking minivan. I've never driven anything like this. In, well, I have. I've driven SUV. I've driven that was that BMW SUV, which was absolutely awful. And then and then there was the the truck, which was pretty big as well. But. Whoa, do you hear that engine? Neither do I. Woohoo! <laughs> nothing, absolutely nothing. All right, I'm in America. I need to remember that the roads are really weird here. Woo! This thing is fast! Said nobody ever. I'm driving a minivan in the United States of America. Why are you making me squeeze through? This is not a small car. <laughs> I feel like a right now. Here we go. Woo! Can you hear it? Woo! <laughs> oh God, all right. So I'm gonna drive now. Uh, it's not gonna be much excitement. I mean, I mean, I forgot, stop. Would I ever buy one? No, this is the first car where I've actually driven, I say car, first thing I've driven and I thought, you know what, I really don't want one of these. Never. Like, the only time I'd actually get one is if I was forced to. By, like, God. I'm not even religious. So, it takes some doing. Thankfully, the roads are mostly open. So it's pretty much just clear driving. America, there's one thing I have to give you props for, and that is how much parking space you get. You don't get parking space in the UK. Look, I can open the door and look at all the room. Also, this also freaks me out all the time. Why? Don't know if you can see, but interesting Mustang behind me. Anyway, we just stopped off to a supermarket of some kind. There's an Ultima. I was supposed to get a Nissan Ultima. That's what it said I was going to get. Anyway, stopped off. Um, problem is, with the rental car, it doesn't have a powerful enough USB port to charge anything, and I kind of need maps. Otherwise, I'm going to get lost and stranded. So, we're stopping at Publix to get something. I think. Which way do I go? Picked up a few things, mainly car charger. Only in America would you leave your car's top down and be absolutely fine with it. Probably get pooed on in the UK. Cheap in the background for Meadow, but let's go. Back on the road. It's really hot in here. Somebody turn on the AC. I don't need to put my foot on the brake. That was really weird. Not exactly sure where we are. Can't quite remember. But it's pretty, so I wanted to show you. America's so unpredictable with its traffic, all of a sudden, like, it will stop. And then it'll keep moving again. And it'll stop. You set a time on, like, you, you set a thing on maps, and I promise you, you will not make it near that time. America. Let's see if I can see him. There is a man in a truck. Oh, 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 what did I say? Oh, no, we're going again. What's going on? Give or take five or ten minutes. Usually I end up half an hour early if it's like a two-hour drive. That's because I'm probably speeding a little bit. Sensibly. But it's really weird. Like in the US you set something and you're not gonna make it in that time. You've just got to like add an extra hour on it hour or in case of traffic or something. But we're getting there. Slowly. This guy has made me like really go out of lane and I'm Get in, a, get in a lane. Security truck, like, took in front of me. Bloody knob. Can you see the man in the truck? <laughs> Welcome to America. Very nice. Aha, uh -huh. I remember. It's Tampa. Only because I saw a sign for the airport. We're in Tampa. Which means we're going to cross that awesome looking bridge soon. I cannot wait. There's my phone gone. I need that. It's got maps on it. Also, I found a cool Jeep. Here you go, Meadow. How about that Jeep? We can have that one. That is nice. He's in a very cool Camaro with a cool Saints Row style stripe on it. That is awesome. I, li I like America's cars because you guys actually sometimes do things to your cars. And here we are. This is just going to be water. I need water. Holy water. But no, seriously, it's just so cool to see this. It's, bloody hell, that's, it's a 65, mate. He's, he's not going 65. No, seriously, though, I love... I love, love, love America and how it different it is in different places. Like, you wouldn't get anything like this in the UK. Unless I'm wrong, tell me, because then I'm going to go bloody find it. I feel like I'm driving a bus right now. I technically am, aren't I? 
For God's sake. Do you see how freaking cool this is? I don't care where you're from, this is gonna be cool, right? Or am I just like a massive tourist? <laughs> the use adventures in Florida in his minivan on his own. Could be a series. <laughs> Just do a series of a road trip going across America in a minivan on my own. Why a minivan? Exactly. Bloody Nora! I'm not, I mean, I'm not speeding, but he's definitely speeding. Do you know what I'm reminded of right now? Outrun. Outrun? Outrun. Yes! You can't really see properly, but in the distance, I don't know, it's just like these long bridges. And maybe this is kind of set where it was based. It's probably, it, it, it was in Miami, I think, wasn't it? So it probably makes sense, or somewhere like that. But this is, this is stunning. I need to turn off soon, so I should pay attention. I see you. I see you coming. Woo! Don't get those in there, United Kingdom. Come, come back. Once again, eyeing up cars that we don't get in the UK. Anyway, let's go. Hello, we're back. We're back where we started at the Enterprise this morning, or oh, this, uh, this early afternoon. It was an awesome day, got to hang out with uh, a new family member that I just met. But basically, we're done for today. We're done with this car. I don't need it anymore, I don't like it. It's probably the, the, the worst rental I've ever had. I came in here for it to be quiet, I'm playing music, I just realized. But um, yeah, let's, let's return it. I think I can return it here, I don't know. Why is it over there? Boom! There you go, that's the end of my free day. Tomorrow is not a free day. I'm gonna be working. Don't know why I'm talking like this, but thank you so much for joining me on this vlog. If you enjoyed this, make sure to let me know down in the comments, because again, I'm gonna have a lot of chances to go to the US again soon. I'm gonna be doing, obviously, E3, and then we're also gonna be doing uh, a little bit of time after in LA. And then I'm gonna be back in the US again for, uh, me and Meadow to tie the knot. So, if you want to see some vlogs during those times when I'm in the US, or traveling in general, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you are new, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't buy minivans. Minivans are stupid. Also SUVs in the UK, very stupid. Buy wagons instead. Also known as estates. Thanks. Cheers. Bye. My breath. Peace.